What's up guys, SirTech20 here. This right here is Eris. She's the NPC from the Dark Below DLC. Once you do the three story missions that are there, you'll eventually come up to her and she'll eventually give you these right here, the Disciples of Crota. Now the first one is the Eyes of Crota. The second one is the Hand of Crota. And the third is the Heart. Now let me show you guys how to do these missions. Okay guys, this one right here is for the Hand of Crota mission. We're at the steps right now, which is the or the spot that you start right off at on Earth when you do the patrol mission. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and speed this up a little bit since I'm pretty sure everyone that's played Destiny has this this part right here well memorized. But the area that we're going to go into is the area where you're supposed to confront the wizard from the moon in the story mission. So yeah, I'll go ahead and speed it up for you guys. Okay guys, now that I've sold it back down, you'll see that it says Lunar Complex, which is where we have to be. And right here is that door that you have to have the ghost unlock in the story mission. You go just up these stairs right here, and this area that you come into just over here is the first place you encounter the hive. Now you want to go and kill all these guys, it'll just make this easier. Well, aside from my horrible aim in this part, but... Yeah, you want to go and get these guys clear, then after that... You'll peer around a certain corner and you'll see a dude just sitting there, and he will... Yeah, if you kill him, you'll have a bunch of bitches spawn, and then the big guy, his master, that you're supposed to kill will come out, but... Yeah. Uh, I should... Yeah, right here. Yeah, that guy right there, serving another hand. You get his attention, which I do quite... Yep, right there. See, serving another hand has been disturbed. Now you'll have all this shit right here happening. You have to kill all these enemies, and then the hand of Crota, the guy you're supposed to kill, will show up. Yep, there he is. Then once you take him down, the mission thing will pop up like... As if you were completing a bounty, it'll pop up and show there's a little star on it saying, yeah, you completed it. That's what this right here will do, but since I didn't actually have the mission, you know, taken right away, that little tip you guys seen in the beginning was just me showing you guys what they look like, but, yep, there we go, Hand of Code is down. And after you do that, you will get the mission completed. So, I hope that helped for this part. Now on to the other ones. So, yeah. See you guys there. Okay, guys, so this one's for the heart of Crota. It's in the area just before the first big battle in the uh, Sepix Prime Strike, so I'm on the okay that way I can cruise through most of this stuff. This one isn't really too long, this one's actually quite short, as long as you don't run into shit like I just did. But uh, yeah, it's in the just as you're going through that first tiny, tiny battle where you have the knight and some of his, or the thralls, and then some of the acolytes. Well, after I get through all this. I wasn't going to put this in here, but I just figured it'd be easier to show you. Is I actually missed this the first few times I attempted this, so... Yeah, it's in the refinery, which is where you have to look. And you'll see that all the enemies are dead, which I went ahead and just did for you guys. That way I could do this a bit quicker. And right there is the Servant of the Heart. Kill him, just like in the other ones, and you'll piss everybody off. Now the heart of, of Crota, yeah, it's a wizard, and wizard's kind of a bitch. I came close to dying on this, so. Yep, and there's the heart of Crota. Now, even though I didn't grab those missions right away from Aaron, or Eris, I mean, it still... Yeah, doing exactly what I'm showing you guys in this video, it'll cause the 
you know, the little mission complete thing to pop up on the right hand side showing you the little bounty looking thing that you accepted, so. But yeah, that's pretty much the heart of Crota, so with that being said and with that being shown, let's go ahead and pop into the next one. So, see you guys there. Okay guys, this is for the Eye of Crota, the last one of the three that Eris gives you. I'm starting off here at the steps where you'd usually do it in Earth Patrol mission. And instead of going to the Skywatch this time, we're actually going to take a right and follow the stream toward the Forgotten Shore. But once we get to the Forgotten Shore, we're going to go ahead and go or take a left to go to the Terrestrial Complex because that's where we have to go and find our third victim. Because <laughs> we have to steal some treasure from him. So I'll go ahead and speed it up and I will see you guys there. Okay guys, I sold it down right there because I'm about to zoom in on our final target, the Servant of the Eyes. And I'm going to actually splice in the footage now where I waited for a friend of mine to join up that we could tackle this one together, so give me just a second. Okay, now here I'm waiting up for a buddy of mine, there we go, so now we're going to go ahead and go through there and tackle this. Now the thing about this one is once you go ahead and disturb the Servant of the Eyes, there will be a big old ship coming kind of like it was with the mission, you know, on Earth. And... The enemies won't stop. They're like an infinite spawn until after you kill three big dudes in yellow. Well, they'll be like the eyes of Crota. And, yeah, there will be three other dudes. So, I'm going to go in here and poke this bitch. It's pretty much me telling my friend, okay, you ready to do this? So, yep, there's the dude. And there's the little treasure that we have to steal. So, I'll go and let you guys see it. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's let the fun begin. And that's that, friends. You have to make sure you kill those three Eyes of Crota, the ones with the yellow health bars, or else the enemies are infinitely respawning. And with that being done, you should have the thing that lets you know that you completed the quest, so let's go ahead and go back to the tower and see what Eris has to say about it. Okay, guys, we're back at the tower. We're going to go ahead and go talk to Eris now and turn in those three missions. So, yeah. And what it grants you is pretty much just 150 reputation points towards her, uh, her little tribe I guess you could call it but then you get the next quest which unlocks the strike the will of Crota it's a pretty crazy strike if I'm to be completely honest so that's that's pretty much it so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video please leave your likes shares favorites comments below let me know if it helped you guys out any and if it did you're welcome and if it didn't well sorry peace